Let's take some time to look at how to export your OpenVSP model in a variety of formats. If we come to File and Export, you'll see that we have quite a few different file options where you can take your OpenVSP model, including sets of components, either in the normal set or the DGEN set, and write those out into any number of different formats. So let's break this down a little bit. First off, let's recall from Chapter 2 when we were talking about sets, that you can group individual components into individual sets here, and then those sets can be included as either normal or degen. You might remember from the CompGeom video that a normal set is basically taking the wireframe that you see here on the screen and using that to either write out the, um, the surface as it is here on the screen. The degen set is going to collapse everything down to a camber degen plate, uh, you know, thin surface representation. And so you can pick either one of those for writing these things out. And then you have uh, groups of file exports that are typically of the same flavor. So things like Hermit Plot 3D, you're going to get a wireframe that's based on the model that you see on the screen. So it's kind of a what you see is what you get type thing. You've got STLs and tries and meshes, OBJ files, facets, etc. That's kind of like running CompGeom and then taking that triangulation, writing it out into the appropriate format. And so again, what you see with either the normal or the DGEN set, that will be the surface resolution that you get out. So set your model up accordingly. You can export out into CAD formats, either in STEP or IGES. Now you see there's a couple of differences here. There's STEP and then there's STEP structure. So that's more if you're doing things like uh, an FEA mesh analysis and you want to dump out the structural step, that's, that's different. So we'll break these down a little bit more later. We also have the ability to write out blade element momentum models. So in this case, if you have a prop in your model, it will write out the chord and twist distribution, all of the parameters in a way that's easily translated into a blade element momentum code. You can also write out things like uh, the line drawings for AutoCAD drawing file or an SVG. So that essentially takes the feature lines that define the outside of your model here and turns it into a scaled line drawing. We also have airfoil points. So recall that with OpenVSP wings and wing type components, you've got sectional airfoils defined somewhere, in this case, just at the root and the tip. But OpenVSP is doing the interpolation between those two for you. If you want, you can have it export each one of these stations in a file that gives you the points or the curves for every one of those airfoils. And so you can go in and analyze those in the panel code of your choice or using your own methods, and it will tell you the behavior of each of those incremental airfoils along the wing. If for whatever reason you want to do that to loop it into your own analysis, that capability is right there using the airfoil export. And finally, with custom scripts, that's really just a new way of exporting out um, the custom components that are integrated with your OpenVSP model. So that may be uh, something that's included with a model itself, or it could be the ones that are already packaged up with OpenVSP. But that's a bit of an overview to the different file types that we have available to us in file export. Subsequent videos, we'll go in and break these down individually and talk about some of the nuance and some of the controls that are available. But that should get you started.